Hey, buenos dias. Que paso, amigos? John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. We're still out here in the wilderness. Jackie kicked me out of the house, so I'm doing some cave dwelling for a little bit to see how I like it. All right, JK, of course, that's not going down. Today, we're talking about the potentially second cheapest Harley Davidson Fat Bob ever to be found in the nation, if not globally. I'll explain in a moment what I'm talking about, but first, I'd like to say a huge shout out and thank you to all of you guys. We hit the big 9K. That's right. We got 9K subscribers. And I'm super stoked. Couldn't do it without you, obviously. So thanks a bunch. I appreciate the support. And keep it coming. Good vibes all around. Gracias. All right, so some of you have probably seen the video. SRK Cycles or Bikes and Beards a while back released a video how they bought the cheapest Fat Bob in the nation. And when I saw that, first thing I thought was, no way, dude. I, it, there's just no way they got a better deal than what I got. Back in November of last year, I had a 2018 Fat Bob 107. And that one I picked up for... 11,500 bucks and I ended up selling it wait till the end I'll tell you how much I ended up selling it for or you can go watch that video but anyway at the time I was pretty sure that was the cheapest 2018 fat bob aside from dealer trade-ins because obviously those go for real cheap well sure enough I checked out the bikes and beards or SRK video and I think they picked theirs up for 11 maybe 10 5 I forget the exact price and it was the 114 so I was like all right I give it to you guys I hand over the torch Obviously, they got the better deal on the motorcycle, and I believe it was a viewer who reached out to them offering them the deal. A lot of people ask me how I find some of the deals that I get. I'm not a dealer. I just buy and sell on the side as a hobby, and some of the bikes I keep and ride for a while, some I flip, you know, turn a quick profit, but really, it's just Craigslist, checking out Cycle Traders, some of the local um, online directories. And that's really just how I find the deals. The nice thing is, if you're not looking for a specific make and model, then you really can just pick up whatever the good deal is, and you're not necessarily waiting for, a, say, for example, a DRZ Supermoto to come on the market that fits everything you're looking for. So for me, for example, whether I find a DRZ or a CBR or a Fat Bob or a Dyna or a Sportster or a V-Star, Roadliner, Stratoliner, Raider, Striker, whatever the bike may be, if I see a good deal, I can pick it up because I'm not looking for anything specific as far as make and model goes. Anyway, this one, just out of nowhere, I'm cruising uh, Craigslist and I see this. Check it out. I'll put the video. or here, Here's the image. So as you can see, it's a 2018 Fat Bob. It's the 107, not the 114. And it only has, I think, 1,400 miles on it, 1,400 miles. Now, first thing when I see a deal like this, it's listed at 11500 bucks. So right off the bat... That catches my eye because for that price, or sorry, for that year and that bike, you rarely, rarely see anything like that. Like I said, the last one I bought, I paid $11,500 for. I'll go over at the end how much I sold it for and more details on that. So anyway, it caught my eye. Second thing I always do is check to make sure is it legit? Is there a legitimate phone number? Does it look fake? Are the images stolen off something else? And looking at it, it's got an Arizona title in the, in the license plate or an Arizona plate rather in the pictures and everything looks to be legit and there's a real phone number on there as well you may be asking john why the heck aren't you jumping on that well for two reasons one i'm hundreds of miles and about ten and a half hours away up in utah at the moment and for two i just dumped way too much money into a new van and a travel trailer so yeah anyway i would love to jump on that motorcycle because honestly it is a smoking deal odds are by the, by the time you guys are seeing this it's no longer available but who knows it might be you can check out the uh, craigslist and see if it's still up there but yeah eleven thousand five hundred bucks so the reason i say this is probably the second best deal in the nation obviously the one bikes and beards srk cycles got for 11 or 10 5 whatever that was being a 114 being black arguably a more desirable color that's going to be a better deal but Hands down, I haven't seen anything close to this since the one I picked up back in November or October of last year. So I think it is a smoking deal on a Fat Bob. If you're in the market for that bike, then that would be one to get for sure. And it's probably still under warranty. I think with 14, 1800 miles, uh, not likely there's any major issues there. <coughs> you're basically getting a used bike at close to half the price. So pretty dope deal. And a lot of the bikes I find, this is how I find it. I'm just happen to be sitting on Craigslist and then bam, what the heck? That looks like a smoking deal. Um, however, I will say nowadays, I don't go as much for the low hanging fruit. That is the fire sales, those deals, because they usually do go very fast. A lot of the bikes I find are just not very well marketed. So two, three, five weeks down the road, if it's still available, then I'll reach out and make them an offer at that point. 
anyway, that's a separate topic for another video. Anyway, leave a comment below. Have you seen any Fat Bobs that cheap or cheaper? Aside from the one SRK Cycles mentioned in their video some while back. And do you think that's a good deal? 11500 Would you pick it up? Do you dig the white? I personally think the white looks pretty dope. Still, I'd probably go for the black one. <clears throat> but the crazy thing is, I bought my Dyna Street Bob, the club style one, shortly after selling my last Fat Bob. <coughs> And I paid 11 for that bike. And I knew at the time when I paid for it that I was just paying a premium for the parts and for the style. And I knew at the time if I'd been patient, I'd be able to pick up something like this. And eventually, I'm, I do plan on getting a soft tail because honestly, those new inmates are just so smooth, so fast, so quick, super fun bike. So if I were, were in the market, I would totally jump on that deal. I think it'd be a super good one. And goes to show, sometimes you can find good stuff on Craigslist. It's not always a uh, flaky and whatnot, but there you have it, the Fat Bob 2018, and I, having ridden one, I can say I really dig those bikes. They are very fun bikes. I like the new M8 on the soft tail, way smoother than the Dynas, way quicker, way faster, all that stuff. Why I'm riding a Dyna and have a second Dyna, the 110 Lowrider S in the garage, I dig those styles as well, and it's, uh, yeah, it's easier to find those ones all done up and set up how I like them four or you know two three years down the road i'm sure way more soft tails will be on the market and like i said i'll eventually get a soft tail but the uh, lowrider s will be sticking around for the time being as well as the fat or street bob just because that's a fun bike all right you guys john's moto garage jump on it you may be able to go get that deal and if you dig the content like and subscribe and oh yeah many of you are probably wondering so how much did i end up selling mine for the one i got like i said i paid 11 five if i'm not mistaken the guy had been asking like 13 five and after like two to three weeks that's when i reached out to him and finally made him an offer at which point he was willing to negotiate i think i came in at 10 five or 11 and we ended up agreeing on 11 five that bike i had for probably about a month and a half maybe two months did some cool knee drags had fun riding it around did some videos and then i sold it if i'm not mistaken i sold it for thirteen thousand five hundred after fees registration all that kind of stuff I think I ended up netting about 1400 to 1500 So from experience, based on what I've had, I can say I'm fairly confident if you were to go get that white one, it'd be a smoking deal. But at this point, I would say get it and keep it because that's a great bike. You'll be able to put good miles on it. And three years down the road, if you decide to sell it, you can probably still get your 11.5 for it at that point. All right, you guys, if you like the content... Oh my gosh, if you dig the content, like and subscribe. That's the invitation. Again, thanks so much for 9,000 subscribers. Super stoked on it. And that's why we're out here celebrating in the wilderness. Super dope out here. Before I sign off, I got to show you this. The Supermoto. And I'm going to try hitting some of these jumps down here. Oh, wish me luck because I'm out here solo, so I'm not doing anything crazy, but... Yeah, there you have it. John's Moto Garage. We'll hit you up on the next one. Adios. Nos vemos.